Hello and welcome to the Caron Family Diaries. I'm Kathleen. I'm Eddie. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. Um, <laughs> and we're going to do the X hat <coughs> tag. So, where were you born? Where did you grow up? And where do you currently live? I was born in Belfast in Ireland and I moved to Mayo when I was 11 um, and grew up there until... Don't be looking at me, I'm trying to think of my own. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is easy. <laughs> Yours <laughs> is so easy. Until I was 18 and I currently live in Sydney, Australia. Uh, I was born in Castlebar in County Mayo, west of Ireland. Uh, I lived in Ballandine, which is a great little town. Um, lived there till I was about... 19, 18, 19. Okay, where do I currently live? I live in Sydney, Australia as well, obviously. What made you leave your home country? The famine. <laughs> <laughs> the death of depression. Ah, uh, no. It was, um, yeah, it was a recession, really. And I left because he left. She thought it a good thing. <laughs> uh, what types of reactions do you get when you meet new people and tell them where you're from? Not, not really any now. There's so many Irish in Australia. Yeah, I don't think it's a novelty anymore. I think, uh, what reaction do you get? Oh, usually people just ask you what, how what, long you're here. What part of Ireland you're from? Yeah. Because usually they either have been to Ireland or they've got a, a, an ancestor from Ireland. Been to Dublin or Cork. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good reaction. No one is like... I think everyone has pretty good reaction to being Irish. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was the easiest, hardest part in adjusting to your new country? Uh, we originally moved to Perth um, and just everything was so easy about adjusting to there, wasn't it? Just an easy little spot to live. Yeah, um, it was so easy and we had lived in London for two years before that um, and I was so homesick the entire time so I don't think anyone thought it was going to last out here but I just went, went like I remember after about six months in Perth, I was like to because we were only originally going for a year, maybe two. Um, and I remember I said to you one day, I'm afraid that like I'm never going to leave. I think my mum still thinks I'm never going to leave. <laughs> the hardest part? What was the family? hardest part? Family? family, I suppose. Yeah. <clears throat> it's so far away, is it? Yeah, it's very far away. Yeah, look at the adjustment was pretty easy to be honest. I. We love the outdoors, love the good weather. So, but the hardest part probably would be family. Images, words, or sounds that sum up the expat experience you've had so far. Images, um, the beach. Beach, yeah. Um, sound of a kookaburra. I think, like, well, it doesn't sum up. Kookaburra. That yeah. just like. Or like the sounds of mag the birds, like that kind of will always oh, the frogs. remind me of Australia. The frogs. <laughs> the frogs. Oh, the frogs in there when they become into. There's very noisy frogs here as well. Um, but I suppose that doesn't sum up my. No, sounds. it's hard. Like so what's. I suppose the beach, the image of the beach, and the sounds of the beach would kind of. Yeah, because we lived by the ocean for the first six and a half years of it, so. Mm. That was really, yeah, looking at the ocean, I suppose, the, the curve of the, the globe. First time I've really seen that. That's an image that like, I can picture again. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, look, maybe it means actual pictures, like pictures that we have. Should have gone through this now first. <laughs> I'll insert a picture of us on the beach. <laughs> oh, right. Done the sunset. Yeah. And the and the two, actually, the two photos of the babies, their first day at the beach. Yeah, yeah. That is some of our experience mm. here because we had both our kids here as well. <clears throat> um, your favourite food or drink item in your new country? Smashed Avalon toast. 
That's pretty Australian. Yeah, I like and that. And I love chair. that. That's what we had this morning. Yeah. <laughs> drink. Is it pretty or drink, me? I'm sure it's cheap. You were a fan of fan of a fan of the fan of Bundaberg for a good while there. Or what was the other one? Um, you're thinking of. That's not Australian, though, is it? The other one. What is it called again? Jack and Coke and there's Jack and Coke and there's oh, I can see it. Jim Beam. Is that that's American though, is that? It probably is American, yeah. We're still drinking it here and she's grand stuff. <laughs> American honey as well. American though. <laughs> <laughs> still drinking it here though. Um I like all the wine from Margaret River. I like all the wine from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the one thing you said yes to in your new city that you wouldn't say yes to back at home? Um, for me, I probably. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say me. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it's probably saying yes to go in, to working in construction, because I would never have done that back at home. Yeah. Like I wouldn't. There's no way I would have. Um, and I went into construction here first as a traffic controller and then as a truck driver. Um, and I definitely, I definitely wouldn't have done that back at all. I don't know what I said just. Eddie says yes to everything, so I don't think there's going to be. That I wouldn't have said yes to my own country. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> He's a yes poor. man. <laughs> um, <I'm not. laughs> in a good way. Yeah, you are. You're pretty up for anything. Oh, I'm up for everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Are there any cultural norms, phrases in your new country which you cannot stand? I kind of find them all funny now. Yeah, I kind of like them all. Yeah. Uh, like there's so many phrases that are just hilarious. There is one there, right? I'm trying to think about this. Not that it... Oh, what annoyed... Like when I first came, um, I used to get annoyed at how everything was awesome. Awesome. So like I'd, I worked in a cafe when I first came. And someone would ask, like, could they have a sandwich toasted or something? I'd be like, yeah, no worries. Well, I didn't say no worries. No worries. <laughs> I do say that now. I didn't say it's time. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, no problem. And they'd be like, awesome. And I'm like, that's not awesome. That's just, okay, thanks. The Grand Canyon's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sandwich toaster yeah. is not But awesome. Eddie Oak now, our son, he said everything is awesome. He's only two and a half. It's very cute. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't say cannot stand. I wish they said that different about that phrase because... Why, what do you want to well, say? Well, no, just funny ones, like... Crook on the guts. Uh, so I still find that one funny. <laughs> Do you want to explain what that is? Oh, crook on the guts is when you're sick. <laughs> really, that's it. More than likely sick from drink, most people use it in that term. <laughs> crook on the guts. What do you enjoy most doing in your new country? Nothing. <laughs> Days off. <laughs> Oh, I just love the outdoors. Be beach. Yeah, beach or hikes. Hmm, hiking. Racing bikes, it's lovely weather for racing bikes. It's lovely weather for doing lots of outdoor stuff, really, when you're doing those But in stuff. the summer, it can be too hot. Oh, yeah, like, it can be too hot. It can hot, be too sure. hot to do things. Do you think you will ever move home for good? Yeah. For um, good? I don't know. Well, for, well, to raise the kids, then. Yeah. I'd say we'll always, once we move home, we'll always be travellers, but we'll always keep a base there, I think. That's it. Got them all. Um, yeah, so that was the expat tag. Um, um, I got that. No one tagged me. I just want, I seen it on SeychellesMama.com um, in her blog, um, and I thought it would be really cool to do. Um, so I want to tag Francis from Happiness Sparkles. I've already mentioned this to Francis and Gina from Gina Walters um, channel. And that's it. Bye. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> Too long. Too long. Too long in the truth. You are.